Welcome back, everybody. The Reds were in Miami last week to play the Marlins, so I had a chance to catch up with Sarasota High School grad Scooter Jeanette. Scooter has burst out to the national scene with a 400 game in June that everybody knows. The shots are around the world, but it wasn't long ago that his first team, the Brewers, actually gave up on him. Who knew, right? Last season, Scooter Jeanette hit 14 home runs for the Milwaukee Brewers, and they had gotten rid of Ricky Weeks to make room for Scooter. But then they got rid of him, too. It was a weird day uh, to get news that um, you know, I'm not going to be playing for, for the team that I came up with uh, was a little different. They're the type of team that really isn't willing to spend a lot of money to have somebody just sit on the bench. So I think that was one of the main reasons why they let me go. Things could not have worked out better for Jeanette as he ended up with the team that he has loved since as far back as he could remember, the Cincinnati Reds. Yes, that was always his dream to play for Cincinnati and we spent many, many nights at the uh, ballpark and favorite player was Barry Larkin. And um, so, yes, that was his dream. Every birthday he had to do his birthday cake, Cincinnati Reds, so it's just a dream come true. It was tough saying goodbye to some of those guys that I played with for so long, but to come over to uh, to the Reds and meet a whole new group of guys was, was really cool. It was different. Um, it was kind of like the first day at school type feeling. Then in June, Scooter let everybody outside of Cincinnati and Sarasota know who he was with an epic four-homer game becoming only the 18th player in all of Major League Baseball history to accomplish that. It was amazing, man. It, it, it was a great night, not only uh, for me, but for my family that was at the game, uh, the fans, uh, to do it in Cincinnati. Uh, you know, a team that I looked up to when I was little, always dreamed about playing for. It was just very, uh, just very, very amazing. All of a sudden, he was everywhere, mentioned in sportscast, plays of the week, doing interviews all over the globe, and now everybody, too, wants his autograph. Yeah, it was a little different seeing myself all over the, you know, the big-time channels and getting interviews from Jim Rome and uh, Dan Patrick and all that was, was really cool, and uh, I enjoyed it for sure. It didn't all begin here at Sarasota High School, but he put himself on the map with his play for the Sailors. He's a grinder, a guy who has taken his talent and worked amazingly hard to get the most out of it. The journey has been unbelievable from high school, being drafted out of high school, as you know, and just where he is today, what he's accomplished this season is just remarkable. Anything's possible for me to be able to do that. A guy like me, a, a player like me to hit four home runs in the game is just unreal. Well, it's really cool. It's like being a proud parent when you see these kids you've covered since they were young go on to do great things in sports or even non-sports with their lives and raise, well, 